Hello everyone, so the Lionel 2018 Volume 1 catalog just came out recently, so I'm going to show you a little bit about it, and I'm going to show you what I'm wanting to get. Now, I stress the word want because the layout that I've been talking about, that I've been going on and on about for a while now, well certain things have come up, and I don't think I'll be able to do that. Uh, at least for 8 to 20 years or so and by then I'll probably have a house and I'll probably be making a new layout in that one so I'm just gonna go ahead and say it's probably not gonna happen however I'm hoping to build another layout in some other space which is probably why I'm not gonna be able to buy any of the trains that I point out to you guys in this catalog because I'll be spending my money on that instead of this but I will go ahead and show you what we have in this catalog so, the new Vision Line engine, the Niagara, it was released in this catalog. Lionel is saying they want $1,900 for it, which is about what they said they would normally want. They have a Fantasy Greyhound, the normal paint schemes, and they have this LCCA exclusive. Then we have the basics. This is a H10, also a coal hauler set. The Lionel did a coal hauler set a while back that was also Pennsylvania, but it had a different engine. I think it was an M1A. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but it was an M1A, I think. But this is sort of the same, except it is a H10. It also has a few other cars that are a little bit different. Very interesting set. I don't think I'm going to get it, though. Now, I do want to get an H10. I'll either get an H10 or the next engine I'm about to show you. If I do get one of the H10s, it's either going to be this one or the weathered one. The engines themselves are about $750, of course. The weathered one is $100 more expensive. I'm probably going to end up going for the normal one. And then here we have the Pacific. I know a lot of people are going to be stoked about the 425. And I agree, very nice engine, very popular, and for sure a lot of people are going to get it. I probably will not though, and I don't know why, I just don't want that particular engine. I'm either going to get this one or the H10, and if I get one of the Pacifics, it's either going to be this Baltimore and Ohio, or this Atlantic and West Point. Now, one of the other things we have down here is a fantasy Halloween scheme. If you've seen some of the cars that Lionel has put out for Halloween, and this is an engine you could run with it. I don't know how popular the engine's going to be, but it's still nice to see Lionel making some legacy fantasy locomotives now. Then we have some 2662 type locomotives. These were cataloged a few catalogs back. I've seen them in a couple of Eric's videos. I know he has a couple of them. They have a bunch of these listed. They have some CNO, NYC, and Southern Pacific. Although I don't think that all these railroads listed here actually had 2662s, correct me if I'm wrong on that, but these are going for about $1,600. Now we get into the diesel. First off, we have some small switchers. I may get one of these. If I do, it's probably going to be the Burlington Northern or the Southern, and for these, they are asking $500. And these are the SD45s. You have the Long Hood Forward Norfolk and Western one. Then you have the other Norfolk and Western Long Hood Forward, and the rest are standard cab. Now, what's interesting is you have this Buffalo and Pittsburgh. I have not known Lionel to do very many short line railroad road names, but uh, it's, it's nice to see one of these paint schemes finally from Lionel. And these are running about $600 each. Probably won't get one of these. These are more the SD70 ACEs. First thing you're going to notice is is that it's the new 1943 version of the from the Union Pacific, the Spirit of Union Pacific. Now that's not an SD70 ace. It's easier to use the same tooling since it's pretty much aesthetically the same. I don't know the exact differences in between the SD70 ACE and what the actual 1943 is but they both look pretty much the same, so Lionel just basically took the same tooling. I'm probably going to get one of these. Now down here, they have a Norfolk Southern one. They have the 1030 and the 1111. I'm probably going to get the 1111 or both. I don't know. Probably going to get the 1111 and that one, and I may either get a Kansas City Southern one or, or the 1030. 
Moving on, we have a U33C. I honestly don't know what to say about these. They look pretty interesting. I'm probably not going to get one, although they have some pretty cool paint schemes to go along with this one as well. Then you have some GP9s. And then we get to some of the freight cars. You have hopper car packs, three packs, that would go along with the coal hauler set. Then here is what I think a lot of people will be most interested in, and that is the scale auto racks and the 30k tank car with freight sounds. Starting off with the auto racks, they have MKT, NS, CSX, Southern, Ferramex, and BNSF. If I get one of these, which I probably will at some point in time, I'm going to get one of the Ferramex and one of the Norfolk Southern. And then over here, we have the tank cars with the freight sounds. From what I'm understanding, it's kind of like the Vision Line reefers and or the Vision Line ethanol tank cars that the lineup put out. Except it's just a single car and it's not quite in the Vision Line, but it's going to be something like that. Then they have the, the basic tank car companies. I'm probably going to do the ADM one. And then on the next page you have some more logging disconnect cars. As well as some more 30k tank cars. But these have an end of train device right there. So here you have some box cars from the Union Pacific. I don't think these are actually made. But they are cool to have running behind the 1943 you have, of course, the Spirit of the Union Pacific, and you have all the other heritage engines with the flag on it. And then down here, you have one with the flag and the Union Pacific Steam Program list. Then you have some N5 cabooses and some wide vision cabooses. And then, here's something else that is really cool. A wide vision caboose with a Wi-Fi camera mounted in the conductor seat. So, I'm... I'm guessing this is going to work sort of like the passenger car with the Wi-Fi camera in it, if it will work similar to that. And basically you will be able to see what the conductor would be able to see. Then you have some scale RPO cars and passenger cars to go with some of the engines that were mentioned earlier. You have the passenger cars to go along with the Niagara. Some Challenger 21 inch passenger cars and the Louisville and Nashville Hummingbird passenger cars. I'm not exactly sure what train this would run behind. I don't know if that would be the 490 or the 425. If you know, let me know in the comments below because I'm not a pro on that. Then you have some more two packs of these passenger cars in various road numbers as well as the champion. This is a recataloged item. They also cataloged this uh, in the previous catalog as well as this. And then we get into the line scale. So here you have some AC2 covered hoppers in six packs. I don't know the difference between the AC2 and the PS2. I have some PS2 hoppers and they pretty much look the same. So if you know the difference, let me know in the comments below. You have a, a Pier Marquette, a couple of Norfolk and Western, a few Western and Maryland, and some Lehigh and New England, each six-pack set with some different uh, markings or letterings. Then here you have some PS1 boxcar six-packs, as well as some three-bay hopper six-packs. I'm probably going to get one of, I'm probably going to get this one. And then on the next page you have some three-bay hoppers and some wood-sided reefers. Then you have a Lion Chief Santa Fe Super Chief set with Bluetooth. And then a Lion Chief with Bluetooth BNSF Tier 4 set. Now, just looking at this picture, that doesn't quite look like a Tier 4 to me. That looks like an ES44 AC or an ES44 DC. I know, I know that some of the Tier 4s have more of a pointed roof. I guess Lionel had to use some sort of tooling, so they're just calling it the Tier 4 set. However... It is still a pretty nice looking set. It comes with a tank car, box car, um, and then they have a couple of extra add-on cars. It also comes. It does come with this one. It comes with this, and then there's a couple of add-on cars you can get. Then you have a New Haven pa uh, freight set with a station. You have a construction railroad with people actually building a house. This one looks pretty interesting. 
you have a metro rail or metro rail uh, subway set looks like and a Santa Fe Ranger set then here you have a CSX intermodal set as well as a Norfolk Southern first responder set I might get this one I don't know I have seen this one in real life so I might have to get it for that reason and then you have a couple more sets here then you have a Halloween set and then you have some Thomas and Friends and Scooby-Doo this looks interesting I haven't seen this from Lionel before then you have a Hogwarts Mickey Mouse the Hot Wheels and then you have some Lion Chief Plus engines you have the A5s these are very interesting small little locomotives if I do get one at some point in time I want to get the Union Pacific 218 then you have some Lion Chief Plus Berkshires and some Lion Chief Plus Hudsons as well as some Pacifics and Mikados and some NW2s. These look new. Uh, I know that some of the other things have been ca recatalogued, uh, but these look new to me. And then the F units. Got some GP7s and GP38s. Here's that first responders unit again. The Alco set. Then you got some Looney Tunes cars. This is pretty interesting. Looks like you got Bugs Bunny, who's about to get shot. Oh no. And then the presidential cars. They have the presidential Mikado out, and at some point in time... Ooh, they have the caboose as well. At some point in time, I want to collect everything. I want to eventually have the whole presidential train, the Mikado, all the, all the cars, and the caboose. But that is a project for another point in time. Then they have the uh, U.S. Army train set. Some hopper cars in six-packs. Some ore cars, the flat cars, and cabooses, and some other miscellaneous rolling stock. And the Polar Express. Some add on cars for the Polar Express. Some ore Christmas rolling stock, and some Christmas accessories. And then you have the LCCA thing. And that's pretty much it from this catalog. So, very interesting stuff. Got a few things I'd like to get at some point in time, but I don't know, like I said, when I'll get that. But I'm probably not pre-ordering anything. That's all for now. I'm Sam, and I'll see you next time.